everybody, you use gay 92 here for the raw review for April 11, 2016. Got some UFC 2 in the background doing Bruce Lee versus CM Punk. Of course, I am Bruce Lee, and I will take any opportunity to punch CM Punk in the face. <laughs> I am not a CM Punk fan. I am not. Unless we're talking about good old Jesus Punk when he was with Straight Edge Society. That was my boy. But he changed after that. So enjoy the gameplay in the background. Enjoy the Bruce Lee action. And let's kick it off with the Raw review. Shane kicks off Raw. Makes a bunch of good matches for tonight. We get Styles versus Sami Zayn. Which I'm like, oh my god. And then fucking Owens interrupts him. Since he wants a title shot. He says Sami doesn't deserve to even be in the picture. So Shane's like, yeah, sure. I'll give you a title shot for the IC title. You just have to be, you know, the number one contender. And... He has to beat Cesaro, which we like, yo. Cesaro versus Kevin Owens, one-on-one. -on -one. Give it to me. Fucking amazing three-segment match. No more contender match. Awesome match. Cesaro is on point with the uppercuts. Kevin Owens is on point as always. These guys are tearing it up, man. Cesaro, man, he hasn't lost a fucking beat. Like, I know he slimmed down a little bit, but I'm like, damn, this guy hasn't lost a beat. Fucking neut gotcha neutralizer for the win. One, two, three. Cesaro gets a clean-ass fucking victory. Let's hope this is a start. He's actually going to fight The Miz at Payback, which I'm like, he's going to fucking body The Miz. But it's sad to see Zack Ryder completely out of the title picture. Like, legit, they just gave the title to Zack Ryder for no fucking reason. Kind of lame. Next, we have the tag team tournament set up by Shane to determine a new number one contender for the new day. And it is the Lucha Dragons versus Team 3D. Uh, they take out Kalisto before the match even starts. 3D targets Stankara. 3D hits the 3D for the win. 1, 2, 3, done. Very dominant win by Team 3D, which I liked. He has an Enzo come out. 3D cuts a promo on them. Fucking, um... Kaz and Enzo ask him how they're doing. This <laughs> Bully Ray's like, I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> Enzo is on point on the mic, man. He is handling fucking business. This guy's gold on the microphone, I'm telling you. Oh, let, let's boof up for say it. It's time! <laughs> Alright. Roman Reigns comes out, and for the third fucking time in a row, he did it on last Monday, SmackDown, and now again. I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the good guy. I'm the guy. And I'm like, okay, new line, please. I don't know if they're giving him the same script over and over again, but like, come on, Roman. New line, please. Uh, Lon comes out, and I'm like, oh, this gets better. Roman Reigns, and then the League of Nations. Rusev is the fucking man. Says he's bigger than Roman. He's better than Roman. He's also better looking. Don't forget that. I was like, Rusev. Rusev is my favorite. Rusev is completely one of my favorite people right now. God, I wish Rusev could get in the push that he did. Um, Roman gets attacked by Lon. The Wyatt's come out for the fucking save. It is so weird to see Bray Wyatt and Roman side by side. Shane comes out, Bray and Roman have a stare down and says they're fighting the line in a tag team match. So we're going to see Bray Wyatt and Roman in a tag team match. It's crazy. Then we get Charlotte versus Natty and Natalia for the women's title. I'm kind of sad they didn't do the match of payback, but uh, you can definitely see what is going to happen. Very, very good match right here. Charlotte disrespecting, we're using the sharpshooter. Natty then locks in the sharpshooter. Actually makes Charlotte tap out, but fucking that damn Ric Flair. Pulls out the ref. The ref disqualifies. But Charlotte actually tapped out. So we're definitely going to get another rematch. I'm so happy for fucking Natalia, man. I don't care. I do not care at all what their plans are. I wish Natalia could win the fucking title. And drop it next day on Raw. I just wanted to have a fucking title run. With that women's title. The women's title. Usos versus the Social Outcast. Man, another tag team tournament. I really wanted the Social Outcast to win. They did the bow train and everything. Usos win by a roll up. I don't know, there's nothing really you can do with the Usos, man. They're kind of stale right now, and I like the Usos. Especially Jimmy. Jimmy's the shit, but like... But then, the Usos are on the ground, and oh my lord. I lost my mind. Bullet Club, Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows debut. Regular street clothes beat the living piss out of the Usos. They actually land their tag team finish from New Japan. Commentary actually did a pretty good job of putting them over, saying, you know... And they're actually called Doc Gallows and fucking, um, Carl Anderson. It was so fucking weird to see Carl Anderson on WWE TV. I was just like, whoa. I am a big, 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 big Carl Anderson fan. I think this guy could be a huge solo star. His promo ability is fucking amazing, and he's really fucking good in the ring. 
and he got himself in amazing shape too. I was just like, whoa, the machine gun himself. The Miz backstage promo with Maurice, fucking hilarious, by the way. I love this pairing of Maurice and The Miz. I think it's awesome. I I wasn't a big fan of it because, you know, I, I really didn't want Zack to get screwed. But this is hilarious. So Sorrow comes in. I forgot to say how Sorrow's mini-tron in the bottom makes him do the 007 gun barrel thing. I think it's hilarious. Sorrow comes in with his suit with some fucking earpiece. I love this whole professional thing. I think it's awesome. Definitely got to get that new Cesaro shirt, too. I wish he, they had one in black, though. Sorrow's, all of Cesaro shirts are red and white. So this is hilarious stuff right here. AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn. Number one contender match for the WWE title. If Sami Zayn wins, it becomes a triple threat. If uh, AJ Styles wins, it stays a one-on-one -on -one match. This was an awesome match. Good back and forth. Um... Oh my god, CM Punk is dead. <laughs> so this is an awesome, awesome match right here. Sammy fucking was super over, by the way. People were like, really? Like, they actually booed AJ a little bit when he was, like, um, beating up Sammy. I was like, whoa. Nice to see Sammy getting him over. Sammy almost fucking kills himself. So they do the sunset flip power bomb from the top. Sammy fucking DDTs himself in a moonsault. I don't know how this fucking dude didn't break his fucking neck. And this is not the first time Sammy Zayn has done this. He kind of freaks me out a little bit sometimes. I kind of wish he could take it easy. But I feel like he puts a lot of pressure on himself. Because he's always fucking killing himself. But. There it is. AJ wins with a phenomenal form. Fucking stupid. And that's his finish. I love that move. But that should not be a finishing move for AJ Styles. When he has fucking. Like a fucking Styles Clash. I mean, he can hit the Styles Clash on Sammy. Sammy's tiny. Come on. Like why not just use the fucking Styles Clash. Jericho with a highlight reel, he interviews, he says he has the best guest ever, special guest, and he interviews himself, which I thought was actually kind of funny because he kept going back and forth and actually like moving around. Dean Ambrose comes out to inform Jericho that the show is being canceled, his uh, highlight reel is being canceled and replaced with Dean Ambrose's uh, insane asylum or Ambrose asylum, I thought that was funny. He, uh, Jericho slaps the mic out of Ambrose's hand, Dean Ambrose hits Dirty Deeds, so this is the start of the rivalry. This is a rivalry I'm actually not looking forward to. Like, the matches are gonna be good, but just, like, there's nothing really to gain from this. Like, what happened? Like, I don't get it. There's nothing really to gain. I feel like they could be doing something else with fucking Ambrose, but, like, I don't know. This feels like just a filler feud. It feels like when they did Jericho versus um, Wyatt, this is just a filler feud. Apollo Crews, good to see the boy right there. I get super happy when I see Apollo Crews. Guy is so fucking good and talented. And so, like, so cool to see something new, you know what I mean? Versus Adam Rose. Crews wins with a spin off power bomb. Pretty sure got a squash match. Adam Rose got some shit in, but done. I'm telling you, Apollo Crews is gonna be the fucking man when he gets used right. And, like, becomes WWE champion. I see this guy as WWE champion material right away. Fucking, then it is the main event of Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt versus Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. Bray and Reigns take turns tagging each other in. They beat down on Sheamus. Eventually, Sheamus hits a backbreaker on Bray, which Del Rio follows up with a double foot stomp off the top. Reigns takes 11 fucking 10 beats of the Belgian by Sheamus. Sheamus is actually getting cheered, by the way, when he's beating up Roman. I'm just letting everyone know that Sheamus is getting cheered. Sheamus gets some offense on Reigns, but Reigns hits a Samoan drop, tags in Bray. Bray comes in like a house of fire. Hits a modified Urinagi Senton, Del Rio. He's about to hit Del Rio with Sister Abigail. But Rusev comes in and kicks Bray in the back of the head. Ref isn't looking. Wyatt's come out and destroy Rusev. Bray hits Sister Abigail and Del Rio. One, two, three. Roman Spears, Sheamus. Wyatt and Reigns stare each other down. So... I would definitely not love seeing a match that was raw. I actually enjoyed raw. It wasn't that bad. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.